Okay, well, so today I'll be doing a new set. I'm using flare tips. I was going to go ahead and put them on, but I just want to show you guys. I've already sized them, so I have them over here, but um, I bought them from republicnailusa.com. Okay, let's go in republicnailusa.com. Me son los tips que se abren así, no sé cómo se dice. Tip campana, dice. So, um, they do not have wells in them, okay? So, no tienen la orillita donde usted sabe que pues hasta ahí debe de poner la uña. So, you have to size them to where you think you were going to be sticking it down to your nail. And these are super small because this is the biggest one and this is the one I had to use on my thumb. So, usually I use the second to the small, largest one. So, you kind of have to measure side to side. Like I said, this is the biggest one. It's still a little bit small, really. I should be using a little bit wider one, but I'm going to apply that with some glue. And I'm not going to leave them as long as they are. So están un poco chiquitas porque el más grande es el que me um, quedó aquí en este dedo y todavía está un poco chico. Actually, before I do that, I'm so dumb. I need to um, dehydrate, okay? Antes de hacer eso, tengo que deshidratar la uña. So I'll have to put more glue on that. I've already sprayed antibacterial spray and I'll be using the NSI Pure, Nail Pure Plus. Um, what is that? I said Nail Pure Plus. And the reason I'm even doing, trying this out is because Lovey's Nails reminded me the other day about duct tips. And Kiki Nails always, pretty much always uses duct tips. And I just never tried them, so I want to try it out. So I'm going to go to the estos tips que compré hace como un mes porque Lovey's Nails hizo un tuto en cómo hacerlos pues con un tip regular, pero aquí tengo estos. So los voy a tratar. Nunca he usado estos. I've never tried these out, so we'll see how it goes. So, okay. Yeah, the glue is pretty much dry, so let me put more glue. And I'm going to apply all the nails. And generally, you want to trim your nails back before applying tips and things. But like I said, I like to let my nails grow, so I'm not going to do that. But solamente quiero dejar la uña más chiquita, pero yo los estoy dejando crecer. So para mí, yo los dejo así de lados como están, okay? So this is supposed to be five second glue, but I put too much, so let's see how long it takes. Okay, so I'm going to apply all the tips, okay? So voy a poner todas las uñas. So I have all the nails on. Ya yeah, están puestas, and I've been cutting them back because these are way too long. So um, for me, I can't wear them like this. So uh, I had to cut them with regular scissors or with a clip or whatever you want because they don't fit in your in here because of the width of the front. So los tengo que cortar, los tuve que cortar con tijeras o con cualquier cosa que pueda cortar, pero nada más, y están bien débiles. Um, Bien delgadita, so no, es, no hay una problema cortarlo, okay? So I just cut it off. And we'll get started. Um, I'm going to do the color part first, the free edge, and then we'll do the rest of it. I don't know why I put my other dappin' dish here. Just... So I have my cute little dappin' dishes here, ready to go. And I'll put my mixes in there, okay? So I'm using two mixes. One from Chicana's Nails, this pink one that she sent in for the um, April Glitter Swap. Oh. I was going to pull it out. I thought that was a baggie. It was... It's by itself. The other stuff is on the outside. Okay. So... Voy a usar dos mezclas. Uno de Chicanas Nails que me mandó. O que mandó para el swap. And I'll put... Let's do two spoonfuls of that one. So dos de cucharaditas. And they're not really spoonfuls, I guess. And then this one's from Princess Chan 1986. And she called it Easter Surprise. And I probably should open these before, but she has it easy to open right here. And I'll be using two scoops of that one as well, because I'll be using the two colors on both nails. And I actually want the blue to be more dominant, so you know, maybe I'll do three of that one. So I said tres cucharaditas de este azul. So I want like a couple different colors in the design. And then I need to get my clear, which I'm using Crystal Clear by uh, Republic Nail. So I said, acrylic uh, cristalino, y le voy a poner dos aquí, maybe a little bit more. Two, just equal parts of the acrylic to the glitter, okay? So en este tres, so this one's gonna take three. And this one is chunkier, so it might even need a little more, but I think we're good. Okay, y el más Grasecito que está la mezcla, pues más glitter va a usar, no más glitter, más um, acrílico, ¿no? So I'm going to put this to the side because I'll still need this clear glitter later. 
and I have my pink here. And before I get started with the actual mixes, I'm gonna go ahead and just take the shine off the nail. Some people don't do that. If you want to, you, you know, if you don't want to, don't do it. Just take the um, the the shine off of the tips. Okay, the voy a quitar el brillo de de los tips. Okay, antes de make sure you get rid of all whatever dust you might have. You quita todo el exceso, el polvito que tendrá. If you feel like you need to go over it again with your dehydrator, you can do that. It doesn't matter. If you quiere deshidratar otra vez, pues haz eso también, ¿ok? Como usted piense que debe de hacer eso, pues ahí está. Ok, so I have my um, monomer here. And I'm going to pour a little into this dappin dish here. I haven't used this one in a while. I've totally forgot to bring it out. Ok, so here we go. And I usually end up using the whole little dish of it. Sometimes I have some left over. This seems like a lot actually for today, but that's okay. Okay. And if you want, I was gonna say you can wait, you can start with it, I don't care. I'm gonna put my primer, because I'm not gonna do the nail bed yet, I'm gonna do the, the tip first. ¿Puedo poner ese monómero ahorita o ya cuando está haciendo el, um, la uña, pero pues? Yo siempre lo pongo dos o tres capas, okay? I always put two or three coats of monomer. But I'm going to put some right now because I am going to be putting some of the mix. Might get to the nail bed already. Okay, so just to be safe. And really get it around the cuticle area. I was talking about this. Sometimes I'm lazy to clean out my nails, the cuticle, the old skin there, and then... I pay for it with lifting, so if you're going to take the time to do the nails, you might as well do it right. Okay, so I still haven't decided what I want to do with this nail, so I'm just going to start. I think what I'm going to do is with the pink, con la rosita, I'm just going to put some down towards the bottom of the nail. And kind of feather it up. I want this to be kind of what the smile line of the nail is going to be. La rosita, aquí nomás ya y cerquita del smile line. Le de sonrisa y luego voy a recoger el azulito. Then I pick up some of the blue and feather that down. I just thought these colors went really well together, but also they have some similar glitters in them, so that's really paired up really well. Really thin because I don't want these nails to end up too thick. So, estoy poniendo un poco ligerito, no quiero que estén muy gruesos, ya yeah, al, al fin, okay? So, that's that, the tip. I'm going to go ahead and work on the next one, do the same thing for all the nails. Okay, voy a hacer igual lo, lo que hice aquí, pues okay, a las otras so uñas. So, I finished this one hand, so ya terminé esta mano. So, now I need to encapsulate, I like to do the whole hand. Some people do one nail at a time or whatever it is, but that's, you know, just up to you. Um, Maybe there's a reason to do it that way so it doesn't separate or I don't know what, but I just like to do them all. Oh, actually I'm not using this pink. I am using the pink, but I mixed it with some um, uh, NYX Opal, okay? So it's a little sparkle in it. So si estoy usando la rosita, pero lo mezclé con, con uh, pigmentos um, para que tenga un brillito, okay? So this is lo que tengo aquí en este, en este trastecito que voy a tratar de abrir. Try to open that, okay? So it has a little bit of a shine in it. So um, so now what I'm going to do is just encapsulate the nail and then add my nail bed. So I'm going to pick up some clear acrylic. So voy a encapsular la uña. Y también poner la almendra, ¿no? Okay, like I said, I don't like to make it too thick. Como digo, no quiero muy grueso. Need a little bit more here. Okay, and then add in our nail bed. También hacer la almendra con un poquito de rosita. Y esta rosita es muy, el color es muy, muy, muy bajito. It's very, very light, very see-through pink. It's hardly even pink. De veras ni, 
Para mí ni es color rosa, es muy bajo el color. And a little bit more. Um, do the nail bed. Close to the cuticle, but not touching the cuticle, of course. Okay, so I'm going to do all the nails just like that. I have to fix this little area right here. So, voy a hacer todas las uñas exactamente igual. So, ya las terminé. All I just have to do is file them and make sure they're nice and smooth. Now, this is going to be a little different for me because you don't want to file the sides off because you want them to be flared out. So, um, I don't know how I'm going to get this, but es un poco diferente para mí porque pues no quieres quitar lo del lado porque pues así es, ¿no? So, what I'm going to do is just come in and around. I guess it's probably the best thing to do. And just make sure it's nicely done there. So we're going to go los lados. Do a nice smooth top or free edge. And smooth out the very top. Y también pues saber de que lo de encima pues lo de arriba está no tiene ninguna bolita o nada. Okay, que esté más uh, limadito, okay? So I'll give, I'll file and form all the nails, okay? Okay, so I've already filed and buffed and washed my nails off. And I was just gonna leave them like this, but then I thought, well, I still had some leftover acrylic uh, monomer, and I actually spilled <laughs> half of it, so it didn't really take a lot to do the nails, so that was pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna do some 3D art right quick. So, ya iba a terminar y dejarlo así simples, pero pues me gustó, um, pues, Hacerle un algo 3D y se me quedó un poco de monomero pues todavía ahí. So I'm going to use half monomer and half acetone. I'm putting the acetone in right now with this dropper. So es mitad monomero, mitad acetona para hacer el 3D. Um, y use el gotero, ¿no? Para saber. And I'm put some of these rhinestones in the middle of my little design. Whatever I end up doing, I don't even know. So let's just start out with something. Very small little ball. And I'll put it here. Una perlita bien chiquita. Que esté bien mojadita. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. No verdad ni sé lo que quiero hacer. A ver. And this is um, organic secado rápido. This is organic fast drying acrylic so I think maybe I probably didn't even put, need to put the acetone in but I did so there it is and I need very small beads uh, kind of make it so that it comes towards the middle I'm going to put a little bead in the middle here, and then I'm going to add some uh, rhinestone, okay? So, estoy haciendo las perlitas, las perlitas y como florecitas acá a este lado. Y en medio le voy a poner una perlita de, de acrílico. Está bien seco. I mean, this is super dry. It, they're not joking. When they say it's dry, it's dry. And if you see, it's organic, extra dry, white, ultra white. And... Esto puede ser una florecita de cualquier cosa. I don't even know what I'm doing, okay? I'm just putting, like, petals that are kind of wispy. And giving a little texture to it that way. Okay. So I'm going to do five petals. Voy a poner cinco pétalos. Y si quieres decir que son pétalos. Es que Rocío love his nails. I've been making cherry blossoms. And maybe that's what inspired me. You know what I'm Because this is just coming out however. <laughs> that one's too big. Let's get a smaller one. It's touching too close to the other one there. 
Yeah, I'll mess with that and make it look right in a second. And also this um, brush is not the best brush for this. Okay, pues está hasta el ladito, pero está bien. Okay, so now I'm going to get a little ball to go right in the middle. Okay, voy a poner una perlita en medio y voy a sacar una piedrita morada. And I'm going to use a purple rhinestone. And I'm just going to put it right in the middle of that dot if I can do it fast enough. Esta cosa seca rapidísimo. It dries really fast. That's amazing. Anyway, so there's that. Okay, and I'll probably add some more petals here and there just to make it look a little nicer. Now it looks like a mess. So voy a ponerle unos cuantos, cuantos pétalos más aquí y allá, nomás para que se vea mejor, porque ahorita se ve como... como todo un desorden aquí. <laughs> Okay, okay so, so I that. chose to just add a few more little petals, like they're kind of floating away from the flower there. And that's it. So I'm going to take my UBD, or UBD, what is that? IBD Intense Seal, and just go in and um, put my top coat on, and I'll have some pictures for you after I cure them for about 90 seconds. Uh, make sure you top off the very top of your nail. You always want to cap off everything, the very sides. You know, really seal in your design and just make sure you have a nice and shiny nail. Okay, so I'm gonna do that to all the nails and um, again put it under my light. So nomás voy a usar el sellador UV um, o top coat como quiera decir y lo voy a poner en el en la lámpara de 36 watts, no sé cómo se dice watts en español, sorry, por minuto y medio, ¿ok? Y ahí voy a tener fotos para ustedes. All right, bye bye.